afei lo ai pa ta lo fat e ma moliato lo mato fa fai to wa fio mai that was the welcome speech to welcome the audience to the event and to acknowledge the the genealogical links of the people of Samoa but you love i it is so so my wife no for my to langi to au mala tawa sa ole malela new sa lua so is a good thing to do to get their blessing so that you know in the event of anything happening you know people will understand and stay peaceful so so that was the, the main role of the lauma and then acknowledging the director to see ole afiona to ti tu si ta msese le fa tonu ole ne ya to ti fanga ole ato mai mo ina ni nai minute i said you know uh, let, let there be peace among us. If anybody uh, did not like any part of the movie, you know, may peace prevail. Tato mana tu al ma vai ngal tu angane mal tu afine. O manu tato te te ai o manu foi tato e fei lo ai. So if what? So basically the song is talking about Samoa and like the ways of Samoa and just how much pride we have in our culture and that's basically what the song was basically saying. And we showed that in our motion so I hope everybody got that. Aloha. I just wanted to say how much I enjoyed the film. I've spent quite a bit of time in Samoa, really been very involved with the culture and appreciative of the art and the culture and I thought this was a wonderful portrayal of a contemporary situation, a very unusual with the dwarf as the lead, but it was extremely moving and very, very powerful. It was um, a great experience. Um, myself, uh, having really no background history in some, in some more culture, uh, learned a lot. It was, it was an awesome movie. I've been to Samoa once. And I just felt like, oh, I need to go back. <laughs> well, I thought Samoa was the protagonist of the whole thing. The slowness it shows how Samoa is so slow. So the way he cut the kano is just so slow. You know? And it just portrays how slow the life is in Samoa. And he, and he portrayed it really well. There's a lot of modernization in Samoa right now, but I think it really showed the true values and customs of Samoa as it's always been. As you could see, um, half of my group consists of teenagers. And so I think it's really good for us to come and support things like this and that way these kids can learn more about our culture. What was unique about this film, The Orator, to you? I think because it was all in Samoa. Mm -hmm. I think that's you know, because you usually go to movies and it's all in English. You know? I understand Samoan very well and the translation is just not the same. It's not, uh, you cannot uh, translate word for word Samoan. And if it was in English, I don't think it would have been as successful as it is right now. The subtitles really helped for the non Samoan speakers. But I think, well, I mean, you know, the Indians do it in their own language, the Japanese, why not the Samoans and the Tongans, you know. And I think the technology today allows us to do that. Uh, subtitles are not as cumbersome as they used to be, and I think maybe the translation is, is the trick for it. Uh, but I, I think if we don't do it, you know, we, we're going to keep paying lip service to this language and that language, you know, the Samoan language, you know, Hawaiian language. But we've got to do it. We've got to hear it. And, and this medium, the secondary medium, is, is so um, conducive to the orality of our cultures.